Hi kids, I'm Danny the Dinosaur. Today we will learn about light and heavy objects. Now pay attention, and if you answer all the questions, we will open this little secret box. Oh boy, I wonder what's in there. Are you ready? Then let's bounce. Dreams be smarter even more Clever Danny, clever Danny It's so funny to explore Clever Danny, clever Danny Pretty little dinosaur This is a playground. Playground is a place where children play and have fun with one another. Look, we have a special guest today. It's a giant balloon. Hi there, giant balloon. Hi, Danny. Wow, it's so big. I think it could lift a house. Hey, giant balloon. Today we're learning about light and heavy objects. Can you help us with that? Sure. Hey, giant balloon. The kids and I want to know if you can lift up a real house. Oh, no, Daddy. I cannot. It's too heavy. And what about a truck? Can you lift it? No, it's also very heavy. A giant balloon, what about the fridge? Can you lift it? No, too heavy for me. All right then, and what about the ball? Sure, it's not heavy at all. I can get it really high. And here is a little table. Can you lift a giant balloon? Sure, Danny. No problem. And now, let's see how well you remember the lesson. Kids, do you remember which objects are light? Is this object light? No, it's a house. Of course it isn't light. And what about the table? Yep. It isn't heavy. What about the truck? Is it light? Oh no, it's very heavy. And what about the ball? Yep, it's very light. Good job! You did it, kids! Okay. And now we'll have to find all the heavy objects hidden in this picture. You must find the fridge, the truck, and the house. Are you ready? So what does this object look like? Does it look like a truck? No. There are no wheels and there's no cabin. Maybe it's a house? No way. It isn't as big. Then it must be the fridge. Yes, it's a fridge! Do you see what's missing? What does this shape look like? Does it look like a truck? No, it's too big and it has no wheels. Must be the house. We have one last shape left. Do you know what it is? Is that a truck? Yes! Great job! You found all the objects! You've done great today! Come on, let's open up the secret box! Wow! It's a brand new riddle! Come on, let's solve the riddle and find pairs for all light and heavy objects! It's a fridge. It's big and heavy. Do you see its pair? Maybe this is its pair. No, it's a truck. Maybe this then. Correct. And here's another heavy object, the truck. Look closer and try to find the big car. This one? 
no. This one. No way. Maybe it's this one. Exactly. Great job, kids. Now let's find the ball. It's light and small. Have you found its pair yet? Let's look together. Maybe this is the second ball. Yep, that's right. And the last one is the table. The one that's not too heavy. Is that its pair? Correct! Hooray! You found all the matching objects! Come back again soon, kids! There's so much more to learn! See you later! Bye-bye! Hi, kids! I'm Danny the Dinosaur. Today we will pick surprise gifts for children. Now pay attention, and if you answer all the questions, we will open this little secret box. Oh boy, I wonder what's in there. Are you ready? Then let's bounce. Clever little dinosaur, Danny knows a lot for sure. Danny reads a lot of books, dreams be smarter even more. Clever Danny, clever Danny, it's so funny to explore. Clever Danny, clever Danny, pretty little dinosaur. This is a playground. It's fun and interesting. Here you can find slides, bars, and ladders. You can spend an entire day on a playground and never get bored. Look, guys, it's a giant surprise egg. Hi, giant egg. Hi, daddy. Hey, giant egg, me and the guys want to find presents for kids. You are a surprise egg, aren't you? Doesn't that mean there are presents inside of you? Will you help us, Mr. Giant Egg? Of course, I love games. I'll help you choose presents with great pleasure. Hey, kiddos. Do you think a doll can be a good present? Of course! Why don't we put it inside a giant egg? A lot of girls enjoy playing with dolls. It can be a great surprise. And what about this cupboard? Is it a good present for children? Nah, too big. Children can't play with it. This object is no good present for kids. Can a robot be placed inside our giant egg? Sure thingy, it's a cool present for boys. It can easily fit in our egg. Now, let's take a chair. What do you think, kids? Can we fit it into our surprise egg? Well, of course not. The chair is big, and it's not a toy. We should not make it a present. And what about this plane? Can we use it as a present? Yeah, this plane is a great present for a child. An armchair is left. Should we choose it? No, the armchair is just huge. No way it can be a present for kids. We won't choose it as a gift. All right, we did it, kids. All the presents for our giant egg are ready. Hey. Now let's leave only those things on the playground with which children can play. Do kids play with a plane? Should we leave it here? Yes! Kids love playing with planes. What about an armchair? Do kids play with armchairs? No way! An armchair isn't a toy. It's a piece of furniture. And what should we do with the doll? Sure, girls often play with dolls. Let's leave it. And what about the chair? Should we leave it? No way, a chair is not a toy. That's better. The playground's full of toys now. All right, kids, now let's use these pieces to make a robot. Can you see its head? 
maybe this is its head. No, looks like his arm. Maybe this is his head. No way, it's Robot's leg. So where's the head then? Is that it? Oh yeah, this is the head of our robot. Let's put it on top. Now we need to find the robot's body. Have you found it, guys? Is that it? No. And what about this one? Yep, it's the body. We should put it under the robot's head. And now let's deal with the arms and legs. Is this arm placed correctly? No, just the other way around. Like this. And the other arm should go over here. Now we only need to put the legs correctly. The first one goes here. And the other one over here. Well done, guys. Our robot is ready. You've done great today. So now let's open up the little secret box. Wow, it's a brand new game. Okay, kids, now let's count how many planes are flying up. Are you ready? Is this plane flying up? Yes, it is. Let's count it. Is the second plane flying up? Take a look. No, it's flying aside. We shouldn't count it. What about the third plane? Where is it flying? Up? No, just the reverse. It's just flying down. We don't count it. And where the next one is going? Right, it's flying aside. We don't need to count it. Now only one plane is left. Where's it going? Right, it's going up. Hooray, we found all the planes that are flying up. Come back again soon, kids. There's so much more to learn. See you later. Bye-bye.